Hey guys, it's Brooke. Today I'm going to be showing you how I put my false eyelashes on. I've had a few of you ask me. So here's one eye with false upper lashes and my other one without it. Um, today we're using the Ardell Double Up 206s. These are really spiky and fun. So we're going to be using these and then I'm using the duo lash adhesive you can get this at target or sally's and i believe like ulta has it so we're gonna use that and then just some tweezers mascara and an eyelash curler so let's go ahead and go into this first i'm gonna curl my lashes And then I'm going to take my falsies. I didn't have to trim these because I have gigantic eyeballs apparently because I never have to trim any eyelashes. So if you need to, go ahead. Um, my tip for you guys about trimming them is stick them on where they go. And if it's past where your lashes grow, on this side or this song they're too long and you need to trim like you can see like where the lashes separate just trim it right there on the end on the outer part of your eye that's what looks most natural so we're gonna put some glue and this does take a long time to dry so don't fret and I'm telling you guys it is not the easiest thing to put false eyelashes on so if you don't get this right the first 10 times it's okay I looked a hot mess too so don't worry it's much easier for me to put them on clients than it is to put them on myself I don't know what it is about it it's like I don't have enough eyeballs to watch everybody's blowing my phone up so this is gonna take a long time to dry like I said um I know some people like to put mascara on before falsies I find that it's much easier to put them where they're supposed to be if I don't have mascara on. If I have mascara on, my eyelashes are kind of hard and I can't I can't really get the lashes like behind them, if that makes sense. If you're following me. If you're not following me, do whatever. Um the first time you wear false eyelashes, don't plan go on going anywhere because it's gonna be a mess. You're gonna have glue all over your eyelid. Down here, you're probably gonna glue your lashes together. And it's okay, these are not easy to do. It's not foolproof and it takes a long time to figure it out. So be patient. If it's something that you really wanna do, when you get home, at night try putting some false lashes on get some cheapies like the elf makes lashes um, and they're harder to put on so if you use cheaper lashes first you're gonna be a pro I, I bought some Sephora lashes they're like $15 I think and they're so easy to put on they're like the perfect eyeball shape and you can just set them on there but cheaper ones they're not formed to an eyelid shape so they are they're harder to put on I think I find that this takes about a minute to dry let's see what the thing says it says 30 seconds I think it's way more than 30 seconds but whatever I have not ventured out to try to do bottom lashes yet I've seen a lot of pictures and I don't particularly care for the way they look they look really clumpy and awkward, but maybe that'll be something I try live on camera. That should be super interesting for me to put bottom eyelashes on. So here we go. My glue, I touch it and it's pretty tacky. It doesn't get glue on my finger. So I'm just going to set these on my lash line with my finger. You see what I did? It wasn't anything spectacular. I can't talk today. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I am going to set the inner part of my eye down. I'm finding that these double up lashes are very hard to put on. They're not, they're not very blend, blend, bend, blendable, bendable. Okay, 
So what am I going to do? I'm just going to tweak them. I'm just going to grab them and push them down on my lash line. And I'm even squeezing my lashes together with the falsies. And I know this looks very scary. It's okay. And while it's drying on my lashes, I'm just going to take my tweezers and I'm going to squeeze the false band with my lashes. And if you get glue on your tweezers, like I always get glue on them and it messes me up. So just keep wiping your tweezers off. These false lashes are really hard to put on. The band is not blendable. Blendable. Why do I keep saying blendable? The band is not bendable at all. So, no go on these double up lashes. Okay. So, as that dries, I just lift them up. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 and Zero. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to tight line with it. And this, this is going to cover any gaps we missed. And if there's any white left on there, it's going to dry. Just give it a little bit. I'm going to take my mascara. It's the CoverGirl Bloom. And there you have it. Those are your, my phone. And there you guys have it. My lashes are on. Um, I will say, don't, if you're a new lash wearer, don't buy the double up lashes. The band is very hard and not very blendable. Blendable. Why do I keep saying that? If you're going to try some lashes out, I recommend the du the Ardell Glamour Wispies or the Demi Wispies, Demi Wispies, whatever. Um, the band is very bendable and those are a lot easier to apply than these. I had some trouble with the inner corners of my eyes wanting to pop up because they were like straight and not curved to your eyelid so and if you have any questions all my social media is down below also all the products that I used will also be down there and I'm about to film my Kat Von D shade and light review and it will also be my contouring and highlighting routine so you guys check that out there's gonna be a lot of good stuffs in there and I will see you guys next time bye Ooh, that's a keeper. <laughs> and I don't even need a filter. Yes. <laughs> Shared it. So go like my picture that I just posted, you guys, on Instagram.